In this video, I'm going to show you tap tempo in Reaper. Now, one of the most annoying parts of writing a song or a melody or a piece of music is figuring out the tempo that it should be. And one of the features in Reaper is tap tempo. If we go over here by the tempo, we could tap this button to figure out the tempo we want to use. And one of the ways we could do it is simply tap it while humming the song in our head like this. And the tempo changes based on what we tapped. But there's a few other ways we could use it, and I want to go over them in this video. So the track set up here with a piano string instrument on it. And I've written a piece of music, but I don't know the tempo I want to use. Now, if I wasn't playing it myself, I could tap along while my piano player played it. But because I'm performing it, I need to do it a different way. So I'm going to record the part and tap along afterwards. Now, if we try to do it in this project, it's going to play back differently while we tap the tempo. So instead, I'm going to select the track, I'm going to create in the file menu a new project tab, and paste it here, and I'm going to play the part in this project tab, like this. So we could play it back, go back to the first tab, and tap along to figure out the tempo I played. So as we can see right here, I played about 87 beats per minute. So I can go up here and turn on my metronome and perform my part at that tempo, like this. And just like that, we found the tempo of the song or the piece of music I want to play. But we could do this a few different ways. Instead of tapping on the beats PM, we can go up here to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter tap. And right over here is an action that's going to perform tap tempo. So we could assign a keyboard shortcut to this. Hit add, type in the keyboard shortcut you want to use. Now we can use that for tap tempo. Once again, I'll go back to my original performance and play it, and go back to the other tab, and hit the keyboard shortcut to find the tempo. So once again, we came up with about the same tempo. So again, we could record our part, along with the metronome, to find the correct tempo of our song. But we could also use a MIDI key to trigger tap tempo. Let's undo this, put it back to the original tempo, go to the Actions menu, and go over here to Tap Tempo, hit Add, and hit a MIDI note to trigger tap tempo. I like to use a really low or high note so it doesn't get in the way of our performance. So you can see right here, when we trigger that note, it's going to affect tap tempo. So again, we'll go back to our original performance and play it, and then trigger that note alongside to find our tempo. So 
So again, we found the correct tempo, which we can now record along with the metronome based on that tempo. Let's try the same thing with a guitar. I have a project set up here, ready to record my guitar. I have the input set up where my mic is plugged into, and I'm ready to record and play my guitar. But once again, I'm not sure of the tempo I want to use, and I want to play this to a click. We could still go down here and just click this button, use a keyboard shortcut we used before, or even use our MIDI note. But because I'm playing this myself, I'm gonna use a foot pedal, my sustain pedal for my keyboard. If you don't have one, you could obviously use the button over here or the keyboard shortcut. But because I'm playing my guitar, I have my foot free. So I'll go back to the actions, go right here, hit add, hit my foot switch or my sustain pedal for my keyboard, and that triggers it right here. Now, if we choose absolute with this, it's gonna trigger tap tempo when I push down and up. I don't want that, so I'm gonna choose this one instead. So now it'll register tap tempo every time I push down on the pedal, like this. So let's try it while I play the guitar. Right about there feels right. So now I have the tempo I want to play. So again, we could turn on the metronome and play along with the click. So just like that, we found the tempo of our song or a piece of music we want to record. Which like I said, is one of the hardest parts about writing or performing a part, finding the perfect tempo for it. And with tap tempo, by tapping it over here, using the keyboard shortcut, a MIDI note, or even a sustain pedal, it makes the whole process easier. So that's pretty much it. That's tap tempo in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.